One of the ways that you can make your video more dynamic is by using masking in Photoshop in order to selectively show and hide different areas of motion in the image. Here you can see I have a video clip, and if I want to play that video clip down in the timeline, I'll simply tap on the play button so we can see that it's a video clip of a waterfall. Now I'm going to tap the space bar in order to stop that, and let's go ahead and just make this clip a little bit shorter. I'm going to click on the end of it and then drag into maybe about 10 seconds to set a new out point. Now, what I need to do is I need to freeze the motion of the entire clip, and that's very easy to do. I want to use my current time indicator to move back to the beginning of the clip, and then I'll do a quick select all, and then edit and copy. Now I've copied this one still image to the clipboard. Before I paste it, I want to choose to close the video group. Otherwise, if I select paste right now, you can see that it adds it inside the video group, and here it sequenced it down on the timeline. I don't want that, so I'm going to undo that using Command Z. Then I'll close the video group, choose edit, and then paste. Now we can see in my timeline that I have the still image directly on top of the motion image or the video clip, and I'll extend that so they both have the same duration. Now if I tap the space bar, you'll notice that the still image is on top, so nothing's moving. But if we return back to the beginning of the timeline and then add a mask to layer two, the still image, I can then select my paintbrush, and if I'm painting with black, I can paint anywhere in my image that I want to hide. Now remember, I'm hiding the still image, and if we click on the eye icon next to the video group, you can see that we would actually be able to see through the still and see whatever is playing in the video underneath. So I'll toggle back on the eye icon, and then tap the space bar, and we can see that only that small area of the waterfall is revealed. Now, if we want to get fancy, we can go ahead and create a mask that moves over time. In order to do this, I'll make sure that I'm at the beginning of my timeline again, and then I'll tap G to get the gradient tool, I'll use the reflected gradient, and I'll click and drag out a gradient. Now, in order to see that, I'm going to tap the backslash key, that red rubylith overlay, that is the mask that I've created, and we can see that in the mask in the layers panel. But I want to separate the mask from the layer so that I can move them independently. So I'll click on the little link icon in between them, and I'll use the Move tool and move the mask to the left side of the image. Then, in the film strip, I'm going to click the Disclosure triangle next to layer 2, and because I'm at the beginning of the timeline, I'm going to start the stopwatch here for layer mass position. What that does is it sets down a keyframe. Now we can travel in time to the end of the clip, and if I move the mask, repositioning it over to the right-hand side, Photoshop will automatically add a secondary keyframe for me. And now if we scrub back in time, we can watch that mask move over the image. I'll toggle off the mask's visibility by tapping the backslash key, and then we'll tap the space bar in order to play it. We can see that the mass moves across, slowly thawing, and then refreezing the water in the waterfall. So there you have it, a way to make your video more interesting by selectively hiding and showing motion in different areas of the video clip.